someone who's joyful would come in to try to cheer me up, I would resist it. Mm. It was like I didn't want to be yes. lifted out of that space. But that's, I believe, just the enemy that's trying to keep us in that darkness. But joy has the ability to gradually chip away <laughs> at the various layers of darkness yes. that have um, just enveloped our minds and our hearts. Well, you know, the, the passage in Psalms 27 says, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And then the next verse says, wait on the Lord. Wait, I say, be of good courage and he will strengthen you. And so when we choose joy, um, you know, it's an amazing thing. It's the choice that we make. We choose or, and we don't have to be joyful. And I think joy is the face of faith. Joy yeah. is the face of faith. Mm-hmm. When yeah. you have joy in spite of difficult circumstances, you're saying, I have faith and I believe that God has my stuff taken care of yeah. and yeah. I will be joyful. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. Because that's what joy is, because happiness is connected mm-hmm. to happenings. Yes. Yeah. Uh, your circumstances, what is currently going on. But that's why joy is so great. It's also a fruit of the Spirit, as it mm-hmm. says in Galatians. Yeah. But joy is so powerful because it has the ability to do more than just what happiness does for us. It's that presence, that pleasure, that joyfulness that we experience in any circumstance. Yes. In grieving, you can still be joyful and hopeful. Yeah. In the midst of discouragement, you can still tap Mm -hmm. into that joy that's deep within us. You were talking about, you know, earlier the songs and... I just see these Christmas carols and all of the songs that we sing during the season as a vehicle to drive us into the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Because when we get into the presence of God, it's the fullness of joy. (laughs) So that really is the key, right? Right. Mm -hmm. To do whatever it takes for us to to become aware, because God is always with us. He's always around us, right? Mm -hmm. He's in us, right? So he's ever present. He's always there. But I think that sometimes we need these other things. You know, maybe it's the scripture. Maybe it's the um, the word of encouragement. Maybe it's the song to help us become more aware Mm -hmm. of his presence, Mm -hmm. his abiding presence. And then we can we can deep, we can take our buckets and just, just get a, a bucket full of joy yeah. <laughs> that we can drink from mm-hmm. and it will sustain us. Even in times of drought and spiritual drought, when there's depression. Right. Yeah. And you know, there are a lot of people that are struggling with depression. I've been hearing so much about mental health, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Mental health has been all the rage <laughs> yeah. during this pandemic, um, and understandably so, because people are having a difficult time, you know, just navigating this world yeah. and the pandemic and the and the fear, great fear. Um, but we know that perfect love casts out oh, all yes. fear, and we know that in God's presence, He provides everything that we need, yeah. and this joy is always accessible to yeah. us, mm-hmm. always. And David said, where can I go where? Yeah. Yes. from yeah. the presence of the Lord? <laughs> yes. If I fly to the furthermost parts of the earth, there yeah. you are. Yeah. If I make my bed in hell, there, there you, you are. are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. can't get out of God's presence. Oh, and if we it. can just think about that for a minute, mm-hmm. you know, we always think we've got to do something. Yeah. We don't. We, we yeah. have to do something for us to become aware of his presence. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. I, okay. <laughs> Let's just stop right now. I feel distance. It's not God. It's me. Right. Yes. yes. Right. I've put that up, mm-hmm. you know, and if God doesn't feel near to you, that's not his problem. That's mm-hmm. our that change of perspective. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We have to reposition yeah. ourselves. We right? have to refocus. Yes. We have to renew our minds. We have to magnify the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's interesting when you touch on the whole area of depression and mental illness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a couple of perspectives on that because I was hospitalized for a month mm-hmm. um, in a psychiatric hospital for severe clinical depression. Yeah. Okay. It was one of God's greatest gifts to me mm-hmm. wow. because yeah. I discovered at the lowest point of my life, I was loved based on nothing I brought to the table. Oh. Mm-hmm. Nothing I brought on the finished work of Christ. Yeah. I'd spent so much of my life trying to be perfect And now I pursue Christ who is perfect. But during this, when COVID hit again, I found myself spiraling again, Mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. It was a little scary to me. 
Yeah. But, it, you know, I was sitting outside one morning just in the presence of the Lord. And I remembered when my mom, when I was a wee girl, my mom took me to Edinburgh to see The oh, Wizard yeah. of Oz. Oh, wow. And she told me it was this fantastic, spectacular, colorful thing. Mm. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching it and it's gray. And it's like, you know, it's before she's landed up in Oz. And it's right. just this bleak landscape. And I said, Mom, this is terrible. <laughs> and she said, I've seen the movie, Sheila. Wait till you see. Yeah. And I think that even when I have a hard day, I think I've read the ending of our story. Yeah, I've read the ending of our story. Just <laughs> yeah. wait. Yeah. I mean, I love in Revelation 21 where it says that God will be the one mm. to wipe the very last tear yes. off our cheek. Yes. Yes. There is great joy ahead. But because of that, I believe we can have great joy now. Yes. 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 And don't you think, too, that when you live in joy, you give other people permission to be joyful? Yeah. Sometimes people, uh, they hold themselves back. They're not sure about where they're at. But you bring, you change the atmosphere with your joy. And you can lift somebody out of a, a heavy and a dark place with your joy. Mm -hmm. And it brings them into a place where they're joyful. I, I remember our little grandson, Declan, who is now 13, when he was just maybe a couple years old, he would laugh and he would giggle. And then uh, my husband, Phil, would just laugh back at, at him with a silly laugh. And then, and then Declan would giggle some more. Right. He would laugh at him laughing and it would go back and forth. And I think that's the way joy is. Joy is yeah. contagious. Yeah. And when we walk in joy, it not only does something for us, but it does something for the people around us. Yeah. And you don't know who's in a place that it right. might be dark and, and difficult for yeah. them. And when you bring joy, you light up the room and it lifts their spirit. It brings life to them. Yeah. And sometimes when someone who's joyful would come in to try to cheer me up, I would resist it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like I didn't want to be yes. lifted out of that space. Mm -hmm. But that's, I believe, just the enemy that's trying to keep us in that mm -hmm. darkness. But joy has the ability to gradually chip away mm -hmm. <laughs> at the various layers of yes. darkness yes. that have um, just enveloped our minds and our hearts. And eventually, eventually, if you just remain in that state of joy, if you're consistent, right, eventually it will go away. It will fade. It will fade. Joy is contagious. Yeah. So we need to be the bearers of joy, you know, wherever we are. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, I think I just want to say this because I think practically when we break it down, like how, how can I do this every day? I remember a couple years ago I was talking to my dad who's, who I mentioned he's in heaven now, but he was walking through a tough season and he said, you know, it's days like today, you just have to keep going. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes practically that's what it yes. looks like. It's yes. like, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to get up out of bed. I'm going to make this bed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get myself ready. And I'm just sometimes, and it's, it's not that you're suppressing or pushing down what you're feeling, but it is an act of faith. And right. it, yes. is it is like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stop. So I think sometimes we just go, okay, what does this look like practically? Yes. Sometimes it's oh, just like good. getting up out of bed that's and going good. forward with my day. Winning the day. True. Winning the day. <laughs> Mark Batterson, you one are day amazing. He's, one day at a time. Yeah, so he's good. got a, an amazing book called yeah. Win the Day. And he talks about Jesus being our daily bread. Yeah. And yeah. his mercies are new every morning. Yeah. And all that good stuff of just winning the day. Yeah. Just walking by faith today. So doing what's good. right today. And you wake up and his oh, mercies wow. are new every morning. Yeah. And we're, we've got the joy of the Lord as our strength. Mm -hmm. and I, do you know what I started good. doing um, at the end of 2020? And I've carried it all the way through this year. I go outside on my little balcony every morning, every yeah. single morning. And I read three Psalms out loud mm. oh, because it's so good for my ears to hear yeah. what my eyes yeah. are reading. Yeah, it's and it's just a say. declaration yeah. of the truth of who we are in Christ, yeah. no matter how we might be feeling at that moment. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.